If we look at Gluttony's lab, there were six floors, uh, so Lust, I'm thinking, is going to have, right, so that's the first half, right, so you see the first floor, that's what the red thing is, and this is floor four we're on, and then there's fifth, so I'm thinking there's ten. to raise the camera so I'm not standing at Ellie's ass the entire time. I mean it is a nice ass, but still. <laughs> Don't think one of my mates would be too pleased if you found out about that one. Now, uh, is there anything in here? It's a trap. Of course it's a trap, I'm still opening it. I've yet to find one of these trap ones that actually is one. It keeps saying, it may be a trap, I'm like, uh-huh. I'm still opening it. What's your point? That's stamina, we don't need that right now. We be left and rested. Saved. Uh, what we do need to do is go down here. The kids found it before I did. That's smart of them. They're already smarter than the old man. But that's not hard when the old man is this guy and he's dead. That's the wrong fucking button for the melee type. Uh, nope, this is a dead end back here. See, the real problem I've got with hitting the wrong button is my switch down. sits right in front of me on my desk. It's in front of my monitor. So... I see it constantly, so I'm just used to being A being the other way around and say goes to Here we one. Go. Just an occupational hazard. Let's go. Mostly because of the way my thing's set up. What I should have done when I went to save was swap the teams around so we have actual report. That would have been smarter. I would suggest doing it for the final floor for doing the actual boss. But by then, if we run into this many annoying we enemies, go. we probably will be the same level as the other guys. My turn. So it might not be necessarily such a bad thing to just keep the team as it is. I realized there was three of these, I Ready thought there was two, so crap, die. Take this. 
It did just die in one hit, so that came in under. Uh, you want to join the club of the corpses that I've made? No. You know what you want to, it's actually a rather... Well, it's not an exclusive club, considering how much he's in it, but it's a rather interesting club. And we've just placed our weakest team in front of it. Next. Huh. It's not the weakest team, but it survived the reason for them. For some reason, we're now instant killing these things. I don't know. I do know that was a dead fucking end in a royal waste of our time, however. Uh, right, I'll check the map while I'm in this room. No, there is a door in that one. There's a door in the very beginning of the floor. Which we never went through because we thought it was this way. I mean, the real thing with these dungeons is that you can't really have a map because it's randomly generating them every time. Which is what they were saying about how the labyrinth changes every time you're in here. So, I don't know. So, just gotta guess and hope that it does what I want it to do. Should be alright. Uh, what's this thing? Welcome. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a shop. I forgot about that. Right, so we need the best equipment. Team best. Couple of cards with the strongest equipment. Okay. Oh, that worked. Um, uh, buy equipment. Do you have better armor for me? No. Do you have better armor for Ellie? Change to Ellie. Reflector. Nope. Do you have... I don't think you do, to be honest. Anything better at all? Nope. Alright, oh, no, bag it up. Thank you. I tried, the shop sucked. There was one shot. Okay. There's an enemy right there. What's the chance of us sneaking past it? Pretty good, apparently. Okay. Didn't think it would let me sneak past it. Fuck. I keep trying to go into a room and then check the map. And then when I check the map, the enemy runs at me. My turn. Is that thief the one we named Joker, or is it the other guy that I took out? I don't remember. I also doesn't tell me the kid's names when I'm using my fight. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to wait and see when he I'll talks. Destroy it. Uh, Run. destroy it. I'll destroy it. Okay, let's kick some ass. <laughs> Alright. Still three of these idiots. How come I end there? How come I managed to kill one of them in one hit before? My turn. <sighs> I still don't do mornings, by the way. Anyway, I managed to kill one in one hit before, but now it takes like four. Next. I meant like with the pair. Maybe we'd actually managed to weaken it before and just hadn't realized. Or it was an exceptional weak one. That's also a possibility. Alright, we're attacking the wrong one, but whatever. It doesn't hurt to attack multiple of them. You say it whilst it hurts us, but whatever. It's, it's not actually doing us any damage, to be honest. It's doing very little. I'm ready to go. Okay, if we attack this one, the kids can attack the one that we weakened, and therefore they did die. So. Let's go. Right, kiddos, use one of your skills because why wouldn't you? So go ahead. And now the rest of them can kill it. And that dealt with that. Okay? Sorry. Oh uh, god, I ran straight into him thinking I wasn't there. Uh, right, that being said, these things I one hit earlier. Fuck it, that's a few times though. My turn. Alright, time to die. Take this! Is that what I mean? You can just one this hit these ones. These ones are easy. What I should have done before I went in this bloody dungeon. Not even get through pretty much one out. What I should have done before I went in this dungeon was you get quests from well, the guild, oddly enough. And in it is like monster extermination, like kill this many or collect this many things. That that idea. Next. What I should have done was whenever a new dungeon opens up, yeah. you can you get new quests for the enemies that are in the dungeon. Is so everyone it okay? Be, is accept the quest before you go in and then when you're in the dungeon killing everything to progress, you can can get the money from the guild when you leave. And that's what we're going to do next time because I'm an idiot and we're already in the dungeon so we're not going to leave and go do all the time. We are going to try and find where I can go higher up. Between. Aha, ah, ah, it sucks to be you, enemy. Because you didn't notice me running behind you. Nope. 
Uh, you're looking for blue thing on the map. It's over here. Up we go. There's powerful presence on the next floor. Yeah, let's go. I am not dying like this! Oh! Is that Mark's take? This is bad! I need to let Chief Ruby know at once! Mark! Uh, it's you! Oh. Damn! Damn you monsters! Get away from them! This must be... Alright, listen up, Kudo. It seems these, those guys use powerful fire spells. <laughs> but they've got poison attacks too, so be careful. I'll be fine. Here I go. I mean, there's only one. Three of them. My turn. We'll be fine, because I can just do this. Ultimate Slash Storm. Let's do this. I am pretty sure we're still over leveled. I leveled everyone to 15 thinking, I'll make Let's everyone go. the same level, it'll be fair, and then I can use whoever I want in the dungeon, then we've got Tony she was level 6. Which then means that I'm meant to be level 6, not level 50. So, yeah. Ready what is fire skill? Ready I mean, to go. Parents are over leveled, the kids maybe not so much. The kids are dealing with A, so I'll cope. Take this. Bye. And now the kid can. But they can kill C, but the kid is called C. Team C. Rock. Team Charlie, for that. And that is that. Like I said, I think we are actually higher level than we should be. But ta-da! Whew. You saved us. I was afraid we weren't going to make it for a moment. <sighs> Why are you decide doing something so dangerous? We didn't intend to come to Steve, but we couldn't help it. This labyrinth is so intriguing. We've been gathering an immense amount of data here. It's filled with monsters that we've never encountered before. Mark! Yo, Klotz. How are you keeping these guys company? I'm just glad you're okay. Mark, are you alright? Yes, we're not hurt at all. Thank you for rescuing Mark and his team. No worries, but don't let these idiots go in a labyrinth again. You've got me, you don't need them. <sighs> Diving into a labyrinth just forms is bloody reckless. Mark, it's too dangerous here. You need to get back to the surface ASAP. We'll head back once we've investigated here a little while longer. No, you're gonna head back now and... You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Sorry, but this is our job. I don't give a shit if it's your job. Get... Like the Chief said before, we can't just let your disciples head into danger alone. Like I'm gonna say for the billionth time. Yes, you can. Get out. And once we're done, hopefully we'll all be able to investigate more safely. Hmm? Done with what? It's a... Uh... Well, a special item we're currently developing. It's still a secret, though. Well, we're going to head that way. I'm praying for your success. See you. Everyone at the research lab is pretty much like him. God damn it, it's a group of idiots. They're worse than children. Tell them, mate. I agree. Even you seem mature compared to them. Huh? What about me? Nothing, nothing. No. Never mind. We're going to resume our investigation. Be careful. The well. Uh, ready? I don't really need to. Actually, no, we do need to heal right now. I'm just saying, I don't need to heal, but yeah, we do. We got rather lucky. We got our SP um, uh, back as well. So that's it right there. Or MP, rather, is mana. Still think it should be stamina, but whatever. Haley uses magic to attack it. Hey, look, we're finally stronger than something. That means that it is based purely on that one child. Tomo, you're dragging us down. That being said, I can complain to now, because later on. Because she's now up to level 99, she would level like 50 something and she would just carry the entire team. So... I can complain the now, but it's really pointless. We need to heal anymore? Yeah, why not? I mean, it's here, we might as well use it. Alright, we're all fully healed now. Uh, blue door, blue gateway, nope. Fight. Alright, I don't even know what the fuck this thing is, but I know I can kill this thing, so goodbye. I have no idea what this thing here is though. Just gonna fight it straight up. Let's go. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, that's working as well as well as I thought it would. It's only weak to the one side, huh? It does kind of look like a cannon, like root root. So it's really weird. Whatever. Goodbye. We did it. I leveled up. Hmm. Why the early leveled up? Kind of makes me suspect something. However, I should speak of levels. What are we anyway? Uh, can I check my stats? Not exactly. Use an item. That scale that doesn't help me any equipment. Where? B. Yeah. The kids are like 19 or 8, 20. It is Joker. Cool. 25. That idea. Um, and then oh, we brought the. Huh? Why are these here? Can I? All oh, right, so I can just change the equipment while we're in the dungeon. That's quite cool. Anyway. So they're like 15-ish or so. And I'm level 26. Because if you think about it, you can only go into... This is like how I trained the Persona 3 many... Hey. Kuro, I'm sending you this because I thought it would be a good change of pace for you. Huh. I'm making items right now in Mage Cock Club to take to the Labyrinth. I was supposed to make a golem that chases after monsters. <laughs> But what it actually made is only chasing me around his death. It's a pesky golem that keeps trying to smack me on my bottom. That's why I'm a little bit sad. What the fuck did you build? But well, telling you this has made me feel a bit better. Yep. I'm gonna keep making golems. I'll keep trying harder and harder so I can be of more use for you. I hope you don't get sad in the labyrinth. I hope you keep trying your best. I'm okay. I'll be cheating for you. Bye bye. Thanks. Dory. How in the hell do you make a golem that chases you around his bank you? Tony, you are indeed a weird one. <laughs> but I'm hardly one to talk about being weird. How did you manage that? I made a golem, but it seems to be rather perverted. I must have based it on you. <laughs> that sounds about right, knowing me. But still. Jesus Christ. Now. The real question. I keep saying that fucking phrase. Is... Oh yeah, I can use the L1, R1 buttons. It's L1, R1, it's an Xbox control. R, B, L, B, which is fucking stupid for a button name, by the way. Um, to move the... Deeper in the labyrinth we go. I still think this is only going to be 10 floors. I also need to work out the path of least resistance. Two enemies that way, two enemies this way. Which can I sneak past? Neither, the actually, somehow both this way. Didn't think I would manage that. I'm doing that way. Let's go this way. You know these T-junctions that keep spawning in? I'm genuinely starting to think that they never will have anything in the route that isn't towards the door. Because 9 times out of 10, we try and look that way and there's nothing. Okay, so there's two doors in that room. So it's either down here. Or... It's further in. Okay. I keep thinking it might be around here, but I have no idea. Blue dot, blue dot, in it, in here. Just gotta look for that blue, and then you know you're on the right way. Chase the blue, chase the azure. Okay, and uh, down here. Because on the map, much like the green exit portal, it had to look down here. There's nothing. Um, anyway, out on the map, as you can see, the blinking green light. That's the exit portal. So if there's a blinking blue light in the room that you're in, then you know that there's a uh, the next floor portal. Which means that when we get to floor 9, we should really... Actually, wait. 9 or 10. We should really get to the actual floor, and then... Now we'll do the... I'm sensing an evil presence on the next floor. And then we'll leave, save, and come back. Actually, we don't even need to leave and save. We could probably just... Heal, fight, save. Because we are level 20-something, and the kids can mech you night. Nice, so we don't need to worry about them dragging us down. Which sounds really mean, I know, but it's, it's true. They've been holding their own recently though, so it might not be such a bad idea. Blue dot, nope. Keep moving. Is there another door that way? Nope. It's all about checking your boundaries and your pores. The problem you got with the map, right? Is that the walls on the map are, point, are the same ish color as where there's a door, and the doors are white. Gonna take this. Nobody seems to have made a run to the door. Which means I need to run all the way back to the door because. This was a glorified dead end. All that effort for nothing. Anyway. So as such, the doors kind of bled in. So when I'm trying to work out which room I need to go back to, to go the other way, that's a bit of a pain. But, no worries. 
I actually find it rather amusing that Spike John saw two men down to rob made this. And this isn't even the first one. They were like, we made a game about. Apparently, this, this is the first one that's been localized, I will, will admit. I'll say that one. Um, apparently, in the first one, you can date, I think it's. Not your sister, but it's like your cousin or your half sister or something. Someone's like, but you know, it's Japan, so I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't use that as an excuse, but there's some law or culture there where they don't mind that idea. I don't fucking know, but it's that idea. So, as such, in the first game, you can't actually do that. It was also on the PSP. Fuck. Ugh, these things are great experience, by the way. And we're about to demonstrate if it doesn't kill. They only killed one of them. Will she still get the experience? Eh. Yeah. My turn. Huh. I don't know. What I do know is that I'm gonna do this. Charging up. How's this? Okay, it was a little overkill, but it was a it was necessary. Look at my skills we've got, by the way. Type 53 ramp. Okay. Shoot it in the face as we see it. That's severe overkill. But why the hell not? Uh, Divine Eye again. Who's not have any of that? Uh, extra heal on the team that's about to die. Are you hurt? Because they've got like 1% HP remaining. And then they can use. Oh, uh, that's an intense strike. Shot through the reasons. Yeah, enough. Hit in the face. The should have killed it. It didn't, though. Uh, pit pocket. Can't really hit him in the face anymore, though. Ah, uh, you can't steal anything either. Oh, that's what you did. Yeah, you didn't kill everyone at least. And I can kill you by just hitting you now. Goodbye. Uh, if this is the one I think it is. Yeah, it is. Look at the experience. Next grand. And that's how we leveled everyone else. Yeah, that enemy's pretty okay. The upside to well, it's not a P, it's ridiculous in the amount of experience to give you other. That's how you grind as well, because there's a quest you do, or I think I have it active right now. And what it does is if you've got the quest equipped for any monster. It increases the spawn rate of that monster. So what you do is you take the quest for that type of enemy, level, then if you feel like you're hand it in, and if you don't, cancel the quest and then just keep level. In theory, I could actually max level using that trick. The real thing you have to do is find out, and we stumbled upon it, which floor that red enemy. We're at level 20. Huh. Anyway, it's find out what floor the enemy spawns on. And then just abuse that trick. And as we've seen here, load it. So I might be doing that later. Especially to level 20. But not for quite some time. I need to do some other odds and ends first. And by odds and ends, I mean unlock the next dungeon and not waste four hours trying to sit and go, I should have the next dungeon by now. Why haven't I unlocked it doing all the social. Oh, social things. To unlock the next rank, which should. Yeah. So in theory, we kind of did stuff that we weren't meant to have yet. Which kind of makes me wonder if, when we unlock the next chunk of the story, if there are... Well, we're going to call them gauges. The half-circle things that I keep filling with how their bonds and how they feel. That's all it is. One sort of go purple. If those are going to advance because I've already seen the events. That red guy's still in here. I really do want to fight him, but it makes no point. Why would I fight him when the experience for the other thing that wasn't red and was a false standard enemy was probably and is probably five times as much experience as that guy's gonna give me? Watch it, I'll give me more experience than the boss will give you. It was six grand. Which is awesome. Plus, we got the level, which is even better. What I do need to do, however, and I've just noticed, is. Go recover. There we go, that's nice and organized. But yeah, that's how I leveled all the ladies up to level 15 at the start. Is you can't actually spawn it in the first dungeon. Or pretty much the first dungeon. So, I just did that. I spawned one, took one of the heroines in. Leveled them up to 15, took a different heroine. Like, crap! Holy crap, it was an enemy! I'll try my best! 
This is the only time I've ever had this happen. I'm ready to go. Like there's not a chance this thing working an item. I'll destroy it. Never seen this happen before. This will do it! It's also as weak as fuck, by the way. Here we go! What is that when you expand from an enemy that can pretend it with a chest? Let's go. It kinda has no order whatsoever. <laughs> so it's got no power level. Gravity, oh no! Let's do you wanna see what really happens? It's gonna hit you really hard and you're just gonna... Come on, send the dice. She's dead. Anyway. And it keeps going on about having to push yourself. Okay, now that we know that some of these chests are actual traps, I shouldn't be going around willy-nilly opening them, but eh, who cares? Open them! That's another trap! If it's for you! Turbo! Next! Only because you might as well. Don't want you. I didn't do it nearly as much as I thought it was if I was intercepting, but whatever. Come on, kick your butt. See, I reckon if you put the kids in front of the pairs, they'll become more motivated to try hard. Die. Take this. Experience for killing all these things anyway. Yay! We won! 800. Oh. We need to become stronger. I up. Hmm. That's actually rather good, though. Oh well. Uh, wait, there's an evil presence on the next floor. Proceed. Uh, not just yet. Give me a minute. Right. Everybody needs to heal. Which means I need to full recover. Alright, everybody heals. Then everyone needs to get their stamina back. And then we'll proceed to the next floor. What floor are we on? So there's nine floors. Huh. Alright. Thought there was ten, but that was close. Dust spawn of this labyrinth? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. But from what I can tell, this must be. Not only does this one increase its defense, but it also makes it harder to perform change. Go spend a lot of time on this one. Finish it off as quickly as you can. Mm-hmm. Cool. Slay that monster and you'll be able to sterilize the circle. Of course. Make sure you do your best. <sighs> we will now steal the dust spawner. I'll try my best. What an easy monster, but I'll do my best. Don't let your guard down. Oh, well, you heard the red headed idiot. Kill this thing as quickly as you possibly can. I'm ready to go. So the best way to do that would be traps an enemy in a ring of fire. Traps an enemy in a ring of fire seems to be the best one. So right, let's do this. Burn, fucker, burn. Now's my chance. Okay, yeah, that did a lot less damage than I thought it would. Okay, kids, which one of you? The one that does all the skills? No. Ah, oh, crap, wrong button! Ah. Uh, right, so the healers are gonna kill that team, which means that Team C is the one that I wanna transform. This will be easy! Yes, it is, because that's the one that has all the skills. So go ahead. Hit! Okay. When the hell would I ever hit split? Um, skill. Burning fuse. This ultimate explosion because of the fire code TC. The amount of gun that destroys all monsters. And fire explosion. Go ahead. I'll destroy you. Okay, you say that, but actually we need to heal. Not up. Are you hurt? Right, and then they need to use focus on supporting your allied speed, raises mid, they don't magic attack of the soul stone melody. Ah. Allied speed, right, can you speed up your pairing? Speed up our pair. Thank you. My turn. Alrighty, time to do it again. Crossbolt, in the blank. Take this! I'll 
destroyed. All right, healers, do the usual. Heal the other. Are you hurt? My turn. The downside is this other team is actually working fairly decent big. So. All right. In the sense that all it's doing is taking the uh, enemy's hit. You know what I mean? Great bait. Okay, and we can just keep using this skill, by the way, because we've got MP for days. Alright, kid. Do code TEC and show me what it's. It's over. I told you that thing earlier would give us more experience, but code TEC was pretty cool. Anyway, good job, kid. All right. We successfully sealed the dusk spawn. Incredible. Well done. Definitely. We'll be returning now. The third circle has been pacified as well now. Let me thank you once more for saving us too. <sighs> can't you wait until we? Uh, sorry, can't you at least wait until we sterilize the circle before you go in there? Time won't wait. I don't care. You. If we kept postponing our work like that, we'd be the ones paying for it later. Don't worry. The company doesn't think that this is the best situation for us either. So they agree with me. You should wait 20 years arms until I'm fucking done. Parts that need improving will be improved. We're just caught mid-cycle right now. Still, the fruits of our labor are worth putting ourselves in harm's way. That labyrinth has dark crystals of even greater purity. What's that? 80%, hmm? We are now nearing a breakthrough in our development. Yes, it'll be a significant step forward. Hmm? Another reference to your research? I know what they're talking about, but it's top secret, so I'd be skinned alive if I told anyone about it. At the same time, we've gathered some not-so-pleasant data as well. Uh, any more unpleasant than seeing our skinned thinking clots? Because, I don't know. From our comparisons of the three circles we've seen, we've reached a conclusion. Yeah? The circles that activated later have stronger monsters and dusk energy inside. And if it continues at this pace... Right... What? There's a high probability that another nearby circle seed will become active soon. Wait, what? You mean me screwing around for all that time didn't do anything? It just made the enemy stronger? In other words, the remaining circle seeds will turn into labyrinths in series. In series? The situation's gotten to a point where we can't let a guard in at all. I wish we could at least spend our school lives in peace, though. Well, we are star kids, or star children, or what the fuck it is, star something or other. So, uh, we kinda had no chance in hell that one. You seem to be enjoying it a little too much, Claus. That's what Chloe said. Man, even at work, I'm still under my sister's thumb. 